I believe if you go through life and you're genuinely a good person, you try your best to be good to people, and you're honest, and you shake hands, and you don't lie, and you're on time, and you work hard, and you're good to everyone who's good to you, I think you'll have a massive influence. And I also believe, I truly believe that God is extremely giving. There's the saying, goes around, comes around, completely true. But I would say it comes from God. God is keeping an eye on you and he's paying attention to you and he knows the kind of person you are and the kind of things you do. And I don't believe if you're actually genuinely a good person all of the time, that you're not gonna get some good will back to you. If you're good to people, if you're generous to people, if you're helpful to people, you'd be amazed how much influence you can build up. I say this to people all the time. I don't think if you're a hardworking person who is honest, who shakes hands, who tries to learn, who does what they're supposed to do, who has a good heart, that you're truly, really not gonna be able to get what you want. I think the universe is absolutely and utterly good. When I see somebody who says they want something and they don't have it, I don't even think they truly even want it. You can have anything you want. When a guy goes, I want a six pack, you might go. If you want it, you have it. You'd like it, there's a bunch of things I'd like that I don't have, but I don't want them. Everything I've ever wanted, I've got. I've never wanted something and not had it. This idea of chasing happiness and always being concerned and preoccupied with how happy you are is actually the biggest mistake that a lot of people make, I think, in the world today. Especially men who wake up and go, oh, I don't really feel happy, so I need to get happier. And that's how they end up down a yeah. hedonistic path of drugs or alcohol or chasing gambling, pleasure. chasing pleasure. I don't care how I feel. Yeah. I don't care if I feel happy or sad. It doesn't really affect what I do each day. I do the exact same things. I act the exact same way. I, it does, I don't care. Yeah. I, it doesn't, I, doesn't, I don't put weight to the significance of the emotion. So I always consider myself a happy person, but if I woke up and I was slightly less happy one day than another, it wouldn't affect anything I do and I wouldn't put any relevance to it. I'm, yeah, hu yeah. I'm human and that's life. And so yeah, am I any happier now that I am that I have hundreds of millions of dollars than before I was broke? Yeah. Not really, but I was never unhappy. I'm, I'm, I'm the same state that I was then, that I am now. I have work to do and I will do it. It's, it's as simple as that. You're right, definitely. I've heard like the chase for happiness and the more you try to seek happiness, the more you enforce in yourself that you're not happy. Well, also there's no light without dark and there's no joy without pain. You can't have a rainbow without a little rain. Exactly. And no matter how hard you chase pleasure and happiness, there's going to be dips and troughs in between. There's going to be come downs and downtrends. And you're going to have the juxtaposition between that time you were laughing your head off and acting giddish like a child and the time that you feel depressed as such. And I think it's much better to just adopt a very disciplined, stoic mindset. I'm always the same base level of happiness. If I lost all of my money today, I would be the same happy. If my net worth quadrupled, I'd be the same happiness. Yeah. As long as I'm alive, which is a struggle, unfortunately, in the current climate, but as long as I'm alive and the people I, I care about and love are alive, and as long as I get, as long as God gives me the honor of doing my duties and providing for the people I care about, as long as I get to wake up and know that there's a whole bunch of people in the world who need me and I get to work hard to please them and be good for society and good for the world, and I'm, I'm a vessel of God and I am happy, I'm happy enough to survive. That's, that's all I look at it as. I don't ever consider how do I feel. That doesn't cross my mind. I have things to do. If you walk through life and feel like you have nothing to prove, then you're a fucking loser. If you wake up each day and go, I don't owe anybody anything, I don't have to prove anything to anybody, then you are a loser. You are absolutely not being correct. You must prove yourself to other people. You must prove yourself to your bloodline as we just as we just discussed. You must prove yourself to God. God hates the lazy. You can't stand them. If he gives you all these genetic dispositions and these natural God-given gifts, if you have two arms and two legs and you can think, and you're not trying your absolute best. That's the reason you're not lucky. He doesn't like you. He likes the people which show him the beauty of his own creation. He likes to give somebody building blocks for them to build something amazing. I think that if you don't take care of yourself, God has no interest in taking care of you. If you have a Ferrari on the drive and you don't take care of it, who's going to take care of it? Nobody. I think that taking care of yourself and being the best possible version of yourself you can be is how you please God. I think that's one of the best ways to phrase it is to wake up every day and say, I need to be the strongest, smartest, fastest, most fearsome, most stoic, most capable man I can possibly be. This is how I please God. As a man, it's your responsibility. It's your responsibility to become your best and brightest version of yourself. And you're not going to do that simply by talking it into existence. You need to live it into existence. You need to go out there and do things which are genuinely difficult, genuinely stressful, which are genuinely scary so you can become the man you want to be so you have to take responsibility for these things and you have to seek them and choose and find the correct difficulties for you to overcome 
so you can build a character worth having.